July 2nd, 2014. It's about 1 p.m. I uh, just woke up because I was up super late last night until like 4.30. Uh, I uploaded a video, um, edited it, the comments and everything. So uh, I was up pretty late, but yeah, I dropped water on my paper. Can you guys see those water stains? I hate when like, I work so hard to keep the paper like perfect with my weigh-ins and I hate when it messes up. So I hate like here I had to scratch out some and then like when you drop the water, you know, because it's just you like how perfect it looks. I feel like that happens like whenever you start like a class or like school or anything, you like start out so organized and perfect and clean and it just slowly starts to mess up a little bit. But anyway, uh, sorry about that, a little tangent. Started out 168, 169 as you can see. As we go down, so this is about a month of progress, 170, you see 171s, a few 172s, 173s. Um, and down here you're seeing 172, 173, 173, 174. So gradually going up. Check out the desk. Uh, I bought this earlier this week and for the apartment and this is what it is. Let me turn on this light. I don't like those studio looking lights. Um, I think it's it's like a black, yeah, it's black. I thought I think I thought it was brown, but whatever. It's black, it's nice, it's out of focus. There we go. And uh, it's cool because I'm going to put my desktop on here instead of right now it's just like literally on the kitchen counter and it's a mess uh, and cluttered all the time. So I bought this and put my computer right here and this thing actually opens up and it's like a storage which is cool. I didn't even know that when I got it. I got it online and uh, yeah, it's like steel plug right there. Um, got this shelf as well just for storage. I might move this over here to this corner and I got to find a place for that mirror. And this board, this is a show that Nikki's going to do. Actually, no. I don't, I don't know. She might be. This is going to go up here, probably. Like on top. Nice and centered. Hang it on the wall. And uh, have it like a motivational board. So, post my clients and, you know, notes I get, letters I get in the mail and stuff. And just post that on there to keep me, keep me in focus. Here's a cat. Max. There he goes. All right, package in today. I'm trying to look for it. Here it is. And I'm going to open it for y'all. So, here it is. Gymshock. Got the Gymshock. Uh, let me put my camera up here. I love this camera. Again, for the thousand times. Sing! <laughs> Alright guys, like I was saying, I love this camera. So I just put it anywhere. It's freaking in the... It's in... I'll show you guys where it is. It's on top of these paper plates right here. Go. All right. Jim Sharp. Here is, look at that bright green color. I'm gonna put this on for y'all real quick. This is a large. You guys always ask me what size I wear and like what size I recommend on my CG fitness stuff. And I wear large on everything. Uh, the only time I can wear medium is if I'm like one, I want to say like 165 or under. If not, medium just kind of fit me way too tight. Wow, this feels, can you like see the stretchiness of this guy? So like, <laughs> look at that. Pretty cool. Super nice feeling. Extremely nice feeling. It's way di it's different than the other stringers. Yeah, this is more like it feels like it's cool. Like it, like it literally feels like cold. There's a stringer. Boom. There's a back. I love it. Oh wow, it's the exact same thing as their uh, the previous tracksuit, but it's gray on gray. Can you see that? This is super cool. This is a large as well. Put it on for y'all. Boom, check it out. So, as always, uh, the link for Gymshark is in my description box. So if you use that link, then Guzman10, uh, it's gonna save you 10% off. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, 10% off Gymshark with Guzman10. So use that. This new stringer is now released, I believe. If you're watching this video, it's already available. So go pick up that stringer and I'm gonna do some stuff. Gotta go to the bank. Today's the first of the month, so that means it's time to pay the bills. Got my gym, have to pay, the apartment, got to pay my car, and other things. Electricities for both gyms, got to pay the internet. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright guys, headed to my gym. Uh, gonna meet up, oh, sorry, it's all foggy. Uh, there we go. Gonna meet up with, um... A few guys that came down from Arizona, so we'll be sure to meet up with them. Uh, I kept missing them. Uh, they've been here. They came here for like two days, and I wasn't able to meet match schedules, so now they're back. And I uh, made it to point to match the schedules today. So meeting up there at 5.45, they're already there. So 
and I would put two minutes away. So I'll see you soon. Alright guys, we're gonna do something real quick. <laughs> What's your name, man? Justin. Got my client over here, Hunter, six and a half weeks out. Got the freaking champion of every show ever over there. <laughs> Women's figure, <laughs> champion. <laughs> What's going on guys? I just downloaded the new iMovie. Um, I've been using iMovie 2011 since I started making videos. So recently I had to update my computer and it's driving me crazy getting used to this new software. But uh, change is not always bad. So hopefully I'll work on it, get used to it, and uh, be able to cr create even better content for you guys. But um, today I decided to start my workout out with squats. Uh, if you've been following me for the last three to four weeks, I've really honestly been starting out with either a squat press or a leg press uh, just because of my alignment issue. But And I've also, I haven't been staying away from squats. I've been incorporating squats every single leg workout about twice a week, but towards the end of my workout with lighter weight. Um, and the reason being is I'm really just trying to get used to squatting down um, and not having to readjust my feet after every rep or two. But here you can see I'm loosening up my belt one notch because getting a little bit heavier as you saw earlier in the video and uh, feeling good about it. But like I said, I've been squatting at the end of my workout um, with nothing more than I want to say 225. And today I was feeling good. I decided to go ahead and start my workout out with squats. So um, here I have 285 pounds on the bar doing a five by five. So five sets of five reps here. And I think this was my third set where I want to get a little bit more depth, maybe one or two more inches. But if you notice, what you're going to notice differently um, as opposed to watching any other video where I'm squatting is my feet are a lot closer together. And I'm talking like pretty dramatically. Um, I, I'm purposely keeping them very close together. I'm noticing that when I keep them close together, it's a little bit easier for me to not forget about my problem, but I don't feel the issue as much if as if I were a little bit wider. So keep my feet close together and getting used to getting proper depth with my feet a little bit closer. Here you can see Nathan, we're working on his squat. He's getting pretty good. Uh, I think we both need to go maybe a, t a tad bit lower, but um, feeling good with the squat, guys. So I'm definitely enjoying this closer stance. Here you can see my fourth set of five reps. And I believe, let's check the depth here. We'll check it together. Going down. See, I feel like this step's a lot better, but still you can see I'm still kind of getting used to the stance, just having it close, using my Addy Powers and my Ray-Ban knee sleeves. And I want to go on to my fifth set and kind of commentate. Uh, even though I was going for a 5x5 five five with the 285 pounds, I felt really good. So I felt like my strength was there. Um, just nailing down the form, but I feel like my leg strength is there. So instead of stopping at five reps, I decided to go ahead and push myself, uh, kind of see how many I could get without a spot or anything. So uh, I ended up getting eight total reps on my fifth set of 285 pounds. Here you can see, I feel like this is a good uh, set to kind of evaluate the form. So I want to get, like I said, a tiny bit lower. I couldn't keep, be working on that. But yeah, 285 pounds for eight reps. Uh, PR for me. So I'm definitely going to keep increasing the weight as the weeks go on and hopefully be doing, you know, 320, 330 for five by five pretty soon at a body weight about 172, 173. Uh, well, I'll be bulking. So maybe under 175. But that's it, guys. So enjoy the rest of the video. These kind of days, they really make me want to think about even staying with this location in December. <clears throat> and instead of getting one warehouse space, I want to see, um, I've been talking to the landlords and stuff, but I want to see if they have two conjoined spaces or even three conjoined spaces so I can take this whole area, possibly knock down the walls in between. It's just, I feel like, unless they already have a spot with the walls knocked down, then they're probably not going to do it. So. I keep looking for spots, guys, but it's real. I just want it to be full. I want everything. I want all the equipment. I want members coming in all day, like they are now, but at a larger scale. So I know it's going to happen. Just have to make the right business moves, but look how beautiful this is. Seriously. What kind of gym can you just walk outside and have a freaking lake over there and have 
this area, this area is perfect.